Yo, what's up, Swag Gang? You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lord, a.k.a. KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, we about to react to J.J. Rock Reveals. <sighs> he asked Houston Texans for a release, bro. He asked Houston Texans for a release, bro. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why he did it. Probably just want to tie... Probably just want to retire, bro. He been playing for years, bro. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, he has been going crazy for years. He sucks on Madden. He's not that good on Madden, but he's a good ass player in real life. He stops to run. He brings the pressure. Just all types of shit, bro. But look, man. Anyways, man, make sure you comment, subscribe, bro. I just want to see what he's talking about and why. Why you want to? Why you want to get released? Like you feel like the uh, the program about to go down the drain? Cause yeah, Houston Texas is just straight ass now. They're not good anymore, bro. But yeah, anyway, anyways, man, I feel like they should give me a fifty thousand dollar contract right now, and I should play safety for them, man. But hey, it is what it is. It would be good for them to give it to me. But hey, let's just get into the reaction. I want to do this on video, uh, as opposed to putting out a statement or doing a press conference or anything like that. Okay. Because I want you guys to hear it directly from me. I want to speak directly to you in the city of Houston um, so you can hear the words straight from my mouth. Um, I have sat down with your family and I have asked them for my release and we have mutually agreed to part ways at this time. Okay. I came here 10 years ago as a kid from Wisconsin who'd never really been to Texas before. Damn, 10 years. Now I can't imagine my life without Texas in it. Um, the way that you guys have treated me Besides draft night, I mean, you guys booed me on draft night, but uh, every day after that, you treated me like family, and I truly feel like you're my family. Um, since that day, I have tried to do everything in my power to work and earn your respect and try and make you proud on and off the field. Okay. Um, you guys That's have given me everything and more, and I can only, only hope that you feel like, like I've given you everything I have. Mm. The city of Houston is an only for me. It's where, it's where I met my, my wife. wife. Um, it's where I've had lifelong friends and my teammates. Uh, yes, sir. Incredible coaches and training staff and equipment staff. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. The weight room staff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The front office people. Yes, sir. People on the streets. People I know. Restaurants and grocery uh -huh. stores and showing up at my house. Um, oh, yeah. The connection is special. Uh huh. We'll never, ever take that for granted because I know how rare it is. Um, I'm excited and looking forward to a new opportunity, and I've been yes, working extremely hard. Um, mm. But at the same time, it is it is always tough to move on. And uh, bro, so I don't like what the fuck are like what are you trying to get out, bro? Like I know I just paused it, but what, like what are you trying to get out? Like you like you want to get on another team? Like come on, bro. Uh, I just, I just want, want you guys, guys to know that I love you. I appreciate, I appreciate you. you. I appreciate the McNair family for giving me, uh, drafting me, and giving me my first opportunity in the NFL. Thank you, Houston. I love you. What? What? Bro. So you just want to release. You ain't say, oh, I want to retire. Um, you basically just don't want to be on the team no more. That basically just, that basically, um, it basically sounds like he just don't want to be on the team no more. Like, bro, like, I really, I really don't. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about that. It always says subscribe. Make sure you comment and subscribe if you're still watching this video. But yeah, man, um, I don't know. Y'all let me know down below in the comments. Please let me know down in the comments right now, bro. Please let me know why did he ask to get released, bro, from, from the Texans. I personally think that he's leaving because that team is going down the drain. Deshaun Watson wants to leave. D Hobbs already left. Stupid ass trade. Bill O'Brien, fat, stink ass. He he just messed up the whole damn team, you fat fuck. You've messed up the team. D Hobbs should have stayed on that team. Literally, now JJ is gone. Bro, that team was actually pretty good. That team literally was literally about to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I think it was, I think it was a year or two years ago, but. I guess Bill Bryan fat ass schemes or whatever like that was not good. So they lost that game. Deshaun Watson was going crazy. They beat Kansas City Chiefs by, I think it was by like 21. I think it was like 21, like first and second half. Pat Mahomes come back as usual with a young goat and he goes crazy. 
He goes crazy and comes back and wins the damn Super Bowl versus, versus the 49ers. That pissed me off. But it is what it is, though. It is what it is. Um, whatever that, that he won the Super Bowl or whatever like that. But this is crazy. Houston, Texas is going down the drain, bro. Like, I don't know. And I don't know what's going on with Deshaun Watson right now. He is looking for a trade. But, hey, we will see what happens. But anyways, man, make sure you comment, you like, subscribe, bro. I will see you guys in the next video, man. And let me know down below. Why did he really leave? Because I really don't know either. All right, road to 10K.